Let's do a hotel review. This is the Best Western Plus in Pleasanton, California, off Owens Drive, next to the freeway. We'll talk about that. But uh, now I've already been here at night, so I've spread out a little bit. This isn't a first look, but I've tried to keep it close to what I experienced when I first walked in the door yesterday when I was dead tired from only getting one and a half hours of sleep. So check out the place. So they do have your standard locks opening. There's nothing really to say there. Every, everything's the same. Curtains, um, I guess now's a good time. The freeway is right there. Um, and this is a, a Sunday, so tomorrow it is going to be uh, crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, there's the freeway, well, sort of the road into town. But uh, I have noise canceling earplugs, and that, you know, that helps. Um, and I actually wanted a room with kind of the sunset and the, you know, this has a view, third floor. The heater cooling system I put to good use. I prefer that way, that's the perfect solution. A nice chair if you want to sit down. Okay, for the bedside we have a clock from 1945 maybe, uh, no. but uh, charging here, so that's cool, putting it to use, and the light control. Uh, they leave you earplugs, again, freeway, that is nice of them, good thinking, and uh, their card, and if you want the bed changed, go ahead and put the card on the bed, even though housekeeping, I don't even know if they do it daily, but I don't want it done. The bed, I believe that's king, maybe queen, hard to tell, but it's, um, yeah, it's fine. The pillows are comfy. It's your standard bed, nothing too special, nothing too fancy. I will say, over here, the phone, you know, pretty much the only thing I call is the front desk. Um, light, burnt out bulb, um, you know, I, something like that, I just kind of think it'd be kind of cool to not have that experience, but even at a nicer hotel, how do you always know when the light goes off, especially if no one reports it, because I don't think they're checked. So I will probably say something tomorrow. I just don't want anyone coming in the room today. No reason for it. Now, I love that they do include a mini fridge, uh, a microwave, and a coffee maker, which is in a different place. But uh, all that's really cool just because, um, you know, this is a very affordable room. Three levels of dresser. I saw someone comment on another post about who actually uses them. Well, you know what, if you're in town four days, I'm using them. That's like, why wouldn't I use them? So they actually do come in handy. Uh, remote, which I believe was wrapped at first, and your standard TV, nothing special, but uh, it works. A desk and a chair and another light. Overall, it is pretty dark in here. Um, I've kind of got the curtains open, but ro hotel rooms are dark. Let's just accept that. Vanity mirror, in case you forget what you look like. Okay, the sink area outside the, the bathroom, the toilet, uh, and they do have, you get a few points knocked off because you've got the wasteful minis. Uh, I'll still take home because I actually do use them at home, but I still think they're wasteful. The coffee maker is next to the sink. Um, okay, I guess, I mean, you'd have to fill up the sink with water and just be extra clumsy to have a real accident and then put your hands in the water. So it's, it's probably not the worst thing, I guess. With kids, I don't know if it'd be a great solution. It's just not ideal for something like that, but I mean, hey, you have hair dryers next to the sink, just don't fill it up with the water. And then the tissue kind of sticking out right there. Shower area, okay. Um, yeah, shower and toilet are perfectly fine. The nozzle, uh, it's a little finicky. It goes kind of from hot to cold, but it works. I can figure it out. And yeah, your standard tub. And they include a non-slip mat, which is under the towel. I never use those, but then when I got in, I kind of slipped. So maybe I should be using those. I was luckily, I was able to catch myself, but I think for some people, if you couldn't, uh, that could be an accident waiting to happen, which almost did. All right, that's it. Best Western Plus, pretty good place, I would say, uh, for the money. I think I paid about, I mean, it costs about $100 a night, but if you if you buy in advance, but I use some miles and put something together where I use like 30,000 miles and $130 for three or four nights. Um, so that was a that was a pretty good deal for me. Um, it's quiet, may not be for other people, but it has been for me, well, except the freeway noise, of course, the, the traffic is, is out there. Um, but it's clean and serviceable and most everything works. Fix that light bulb. Um, not perfect, there are little tiny things, but overall, I, I think it's a good place for the money. Check it out. Let's do a hotel review. This is the quality, uh, let's start over. Should know the name. 